Rodman had used a derogatory word in terms of how he referred to President Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, but he also had a glowing review for the North Korean leader, a man whose regime is known for running labor camps and developing nuclear weapons. Former NBA star Dennis Rodman on the defense about his second and most recent trip to North Korea and the man he calls a friend, Kim Jong-un. He has to do his job, but he's a very good guy. Rodman described the reclusive leader as a man who wants to change. During his five-day trip, he says he was allowed to hold the leader's baby daughter, who Rodman says is named Ju A. For him to open his heart and his mind to give me his daughter for the first time in history, I hold his kid. And then there's Rodman's uncensored thoughts about President Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton caught on tape shortly after Rodman returned from Pyongyang. Listen to what he said when questioned if he was able to secure the release of imprisoned American Kenneth Bay. Ask Obama about that. Yes, Obama. Ask Obama. They, they said you're going to talk about yes, it. Yes, sir. Ask Hillary Clinton. Why do you ask those, up? Ask those when you were overseas, you referred to the president and the former secretary of the state using a derogatory term, uh, which was caught on tape. Do you stand by uh, what you said about uh, the president and the former secretary of state, Clinton? Absolutely. I would say that very easy. And I'll say it direct. Guess what, though? Obama, what are you afraid of? Come talk to me. Obama, I don't hate your guts. Hillary, I love you. Bill Clinton, I love you. Earlier in the press conference, you referred to the dictator as a very good guy and a man who has to do his job. But how do you reconcile with the fact that this is a man who is responsible for oppressing millions of his people? The one thing about this, and I've said this to him, I said, your, your grandfather and your father did some bad things. I said, but you are trying to change something. As for basketball diplomacy, Robin says he inked a deal with the North Korean dictator to train their basketball players for the Olympics, also saying Kim will allow a game between U.S. and North Korean players to take place on January 8th and 10th of next year. But his efforts at diplomacy not convincing to some experts in the region. Rodman's behavior now on both of these trips are just absolutely outrageous. Uh, it just aids and abets one of the most dangerous regimes in real time. Well, when asked more about trying to secure Bay's release, Rodman said he's not going there to rescue somebody. He simply said he's going there to open doors. His next trip, Wolf, is scheduled for this December.